What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Little Gentleman. And for all y'all that want a piece of One Piece, welcome to Wano Piece. Before we even start this video, I want to give a shout out to the Wano Piece Pyro Crew for liking this video before it even starts. If you want to join the Wano Piece Pyro Crew, hit that subscribe button below. Do it! Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Wano underscore Peace for One Piece memes, updates on the channel, One Piece cosplay, and also... One Piece Artwork It's called Hentai and it's art. This week we are recapping chapters 361 through 370. Alright, so Sanji left a note saying that he went on a train to save Nico Robin, or he went on the train with Nico Robin. He left that note for Nami, so nobody to read it except for Nami. So Sanji's on the train. Now, when Sanji gets on the train, we see a CP6 member named Jerry, who's a boxer, is on the train, right? And he's huge, he's super tall, like, he doesn't even fit on the train. He's like standing up with his back up against the top of the, the top of the boat, or no, the top of the train, because the sea train is on water, confusing. And he's a graduate of Karate Island. So he tries to fight Sanji. He's throwing all these punches at him and kicks at him. And then all of a sudden, Sanji just kicks him in his face, lays him out, puts the whooping on. Okay, so the way the cars are set up on the train, there are seven cars. And they progressively get harder and harder. So that seventh car had Jerry from CP6. Okay, the sixth car has Usopp and Usopp, Frankie, and maybe a few soldiers. The fifth car has T-Bone, a former Marine, has T-Bone, a former Royal Knight, and he's in the fifth car with 40 Marines. In the fourth car, we have CP7 Wanze, and he is a waiter slash chef, is a grappler, he's a grappler. Then we have the third car, Mr. Nero, who is a CP9 member, a new member of CP9. Okay, so the storm is stronger than ever. The sea appears to be drying up. You can see the bottom of Water 7, you can see the old buildings and stuff like that. You see the fish just kind of flopping on the ground. So this means that when the wave comes back, it's gonna come back even harder because it's drawing almost energy, if you will, to come back harder on the town. Luffy and Zoro are located, but they're in the back streets and the back streets are gonna be flooded soon by Aqua Laguna. So Chopper goes to help Zoro, gives him his sword, Zoro breaks himself free. Nami tells Luffy about Nico Robin Luffy pushes over the building because he can't let Nico Robin die. Now, just before they appear to have made it, made it to a bridge, but then the wave comes crashing down and Pauly saves all four of them with his rope attack. Okay, so the Gate of Justice is the place you go to before you get to Eni's lobby. And basically, once you cross that gate as a criminal, that's it, you never see the light of day again because there's no reason for you to really have a court because if you get there, it's kind of like you've already been sentenced. It's almost like there's no reason to try and re retry you or take you to a judge because you're a criminal. It's already over. So now you have two places to go to. You either go to the Heart of Justice and Marine Headquarters, or you go to Impel Down, where they interrogate you and also execute people. The Gate of Justice is also kind of like the door to the world government or the center of the world government. So it's gonna be a ton of Marines there, a ton of probably high-ranking officers, people that you don't wanna mess with. We already seen how strong the CP9 agents are. So imagine people that are higher-ranked officials than them. Kokoro says that she'll start the C-Train for them. They're like, what do you mean C-Train? And she actually has another C-Train down the bottom, a failed version of the C-Train. Iceberg actually got it ready for them because they were all thinking the same thing. The Frankie family jump in and they're like, yo, we're coming to fight too because we got to save Frankie. And then on top of that, when they actually take off on this new sea train, this new sea train is called the Rocket Man. When they take off, they realize Pauly and the last two of the chief mechanics, the loyal chief mechanics are on the ship too. And they're, they're all joint forces. So now we have the Galley Law, we have the Frankie family and the Straw Hat Pirates all with one mission to stop this train and get their people back. The Frankie family have private king bulls that are known as Sodom and Gomorrah. 
For those of you that don't know, Sodom and Gomorrah are uh, two cities in the Bible that were destroyed because of their wickedness. So I guess since the Franklin family does a lot of wicked things, it's like, you know, stealing from people, even though they do it to pirates, they just cause a lot of mischief. So it would make sense that they would name their bulls after cities full of wickedness. Kokoro's granddaughter, Chimney, and her pet, Gombe, actually snuck on the train too, which is like, why are these kids doing that? But whatever. After Sanji defeats Jerry, he gets to the point where he rescues Usopp, rescues Frankie. Usopp says, there's no reason for me to be here. There's no reason, it's not my job to go save her, and then goes away. Then this mysterious figure comes back named Soji King, or whatever, it stands for Sniper. I think it's just Usopp in disguise because the character has a long nose, same bandages, same attacks, knows everybody's name. I think Sanji realizes this as well. And what happens is these three knock on the door, open up the door, all the Marines and T-Bone, the former Royal Knight, come to attack them. They start shooting through the doors and everything. And then they realize that door is locked. Then they go run to the other side and realize the door is locked again. And then Sanji, Frankie, and Usopp, or Soji the King, or whatever, Soji King, release the train cars. And that's two trains down. So we have five train cars left to go. The weird thing about T-Bone is like, whenever people were hurt or defeated, when he saw that they were beat up by Sanji and them, he just kept ripping off pieces of his own clothing to wrap around them as bandages. He's just a weird dude and he looked kind of like a skeleton, his own self. At this point though, the whole train had been alerted to the situation, so all the other five cars were alerted. So the fifth car though, that was pretty easy. They just defeated some regular soldiers. I think they lured those soldiers into the sixth and seventh car anyway. So there wasn't much to go on, but they beat those soldiers in the fifth car. Then they got to the fourth car. The fourth car is where Wanze was, and he uses food as a tax. He uses ramen kenpo. Sanji was, he looked at him a few times and his little curl on his eye made him dizzy a little bit, which, you know, just more one piece humor, I guess. The guy kept getting mad at Sanji for making him dizzy because of his little eyebrow thing. So. Sanji never uses his hands, as we know, he only uses his feet, but this time he uses knives because he's a chef and Wanze is using food as a weapon, so he slices up his ramen. While this is going on, Frankie fights Mr. Nero. Now, Mr. Nero is a sea weasel, whatever that means, but we know weasels to be very, very sneaky, sly creatures that are type to steal your chicken out the chicken coop, steal chicken eggs, steal eggs from other animals, all that kind of stuff. So weasels have a bad rep. They're usually a, a negative, there's usually a negative connotation that comes with the word weasel. So this guy, but Frankie one-ups him with the weaselness. He tells him, hey man, look out behind you. He looks back and then Frankie catches him slipping with a punch. You know Frankie got some big forearms, some big fists, and he catches him with a punch. And from then on, the battle rages on, but what we find out is Mr. Nero can do like a teleportation kind of poof thing. He's kind of like Nightcrawler from X-Men, and he's disappearing, so it's hard for Frankie to hit him. Usa, or Soji the King, Soji King, sneaks up to the first car where Nico Robin is, and he tells her what's going on. She starts yelling like, yo, I told y'all not to follow me, I told y'all not to do this, I told y'all I don't care about that, blah, blah, blah. I'm not a part of your crew, you don't have to worry about me. But they're still worried about her because they just care. She was very, very mad about that. And what happens is one of the officers comes walking in and talking trash to her. And he's like, something very, very fishy about the situation. The same officer that smelled pirates in a few chapters ago. And he's like, something very, very fishy here. And it's Usopp's arms under Nico Robin. So he's probably under her with his arms acting as her arms. So while she's talking, he's just doing random movements. I'm like, Usopp, you're an idiot. But we'll see what happens because that's where these chapters end. They have 20 minutes until they get to Eni's lobby. Let me catch you up on the short comics. Miss Golden Week, Mr. Five and his partner, they are back in action. They realize that everybody from Miss Golden Week, Mr. Five, and his partner realize that Baroque Works has been shut down, they've been defeated, and she decides she wants to go to prison. And she uses a color trap on a dinosaur like a pterodactyl, and they fly out. 
they're in the rain, so what happens is the color trap dries off or washes off, and they get dropped off on vacation island where there are a bunch of marines. I'm not sure if this will be a bad thing though, because even though there are a bunch of marines there, they work for a secret organization, so I'm not sure if anybody actually will know who they are and if they have bounties or not. The giants on Little Island are also still fighting. At this point, I'm not sure if it's just for fun or what, but they're still fighting back and forth on that island. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what was your favorite part of these 10 chapters. The Grand Line is a rough place. You're gonna need a pirate crew. Hit that subscribe button below and join the Wano Peace Pirate Crew. Thanks for watching this one. Peace.